What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Two Wheeled Rider YouTube channel. My name is Mario Orsini and today I'm back with another motorcycle product review. All right, so let's start out with the elephant in the room. I have a brand new windscreen. I'm not talking about that today. <laughs> That'll be in an upcoming video. What we're talking about today are these Rottweiler uh, mirror mounts and the CRG quick flip aero mirrors I installed on my bike. I guess uh, about a week ago now, I've had the opportunity to try them out for a few hundred miles on, on a couple different uh, days and I'm ready to uh, share some of my thoughts of what I think of these things. So let's start out with the installation process. It's fairly straightforward. Really all you need is, uh, is a drill or in a couple drill bits. Uh, I made a video on how to install them. I'll link that up here in the corner. It's, uh, I don't know, probably 15, 20 minute installation process, if that. Uh, I will tell you, you need to take your time on it uh, because you are drilling into your factory hand guards and the last thing you wanna do is drill in the wrong spot and then you know have to replace the hand guard. So take your time. Rottweiler uh, provides a template for it. Fairly simple, straightforward process to get them mounted. And then once they're on there, you're, you're pretty much done. So let's talk about the mounts themselves. Uh, first off, I think they are kind of cool. I've got the little Rottweiler logo on a couple of spots on my bike for some of the uh, performance upgrades I've done to my uh, Super Adventure. And keep in mind, these things should fit any of the uh, 1090, 1190, 1290 models. Uh, I believe they also fit the 790 model because I've already seen an Adventure R with them on there. Um, but I'm not gonna don't don't hold me to that. If I find that out for sure, I'll uh, I'll put something up on the screen. So um, I really like the, the little mounts, and it's actually an ingenious area to put them. They don't interfere with the uh, with the clutch lever or brake lever, at least the way I have mine set up. But obviously, you want to double check that before uh, you uh, take off. Make sure yours aren't uh, gonna bump into the mounts. So let's talk about the mirrors themselves. How, how well, well, let's talk about the construction of them. First off, these uh, CRG mirrors are top-notch quality. That is actual glass. This isn't sort of, you know, some sort of piece of plastic with, you know, reflective, uh, cheap piece of plastic over top of it. It is glass. Now, because it is glass, you know, they may break at some point in time. You know, if you were to hit something a little too hard, especially if you're taking your bike off-road, but that's okay because the glass is replaced. We take a little screw out, uh, they sell replacement pieces of glass you can pop in there and you'll be back to as good as new. That said, the idea behind them is if you were to crash, they should flip up. You shouldn't have that problem. But obviously, you know, in the world of motorcycles, anything can go wrong. So if it does, it's nice to know you can replace them. So you've got top-notch quality mirrors. I personally like how they mount on here. I think it's a really cool idea and i think they look cool now obviously that's up to you know beauties in the eye of the beholder i think they look better than the factory mirrors that were on the bike um, but how well do they perform because that's really what's important you can put the coolest looking mirrors you want on your bike but if you can't see behind you if, it, if they aren't safe there's no sense in having them on there so i've ridden with them in a slew of different riding conditions they've been on the interstate i've had them on back roads and, and i think the biggest test is is the northern virginia area that i ride in or at least have to drive into work on a daily basis where we go anywhere between at least on my side of the road three lanes four lanes and you're gonna have cars on both sides of you and that's where these things really shine i didn't have any issues with the factory mirrors uh, i know some guys say their shoulders were in them or their elbows were you know whatever they were picking up parts of their body and they weren't able to see very far behind them i could always see pretty well with them the advantage to these mirrors are the fact that they're even wider. Now that could also be a disadvantage and we'll talk about that in a second, but they're, they sit out even wider on the bike than the factory mirrors did, meaning you can see even further behind you than you could with the factory mirrors, which I think overall is an advantage. Now the disadvantage to that is, you know, if you're in an area that allows lane splitting, uh, it is gonna make your bike a little bit wider. Uh, that said, there are different ways you can configure these things to make sure they aren't sticking out as far or even sticking out past the end of the handlebars. But obviously in doing that, you lose the advantage of being able to see further behind you because the mirrors are gonna be in a little bit further. So, you know, that's all up to uh, personal, te uh, personal taste, personal preference, how you wanna set them up and the type of riding conditions you're doing. But I've been thrilled to death with the way these mirrors have performed and the ability they've given me uh, to feel even a little bit safer on the bike, be able to see a wider area behind me. Uh, if you guys have ever driven or ridden in Northern Virginia, 
<laughs> the traffic down there is crazy and the drivers are even crazier so being able to see a little bit more uh you know makes me feel better on the bike another additional benefit to this mirror setup and i read some of it on the reviews on rottweiler and i thought well i don't know we'll test it out see if i notice any difference is the buffeting now i've never had bad buffeting on on my bike to begin with um i tested them out with the factory windshield with with the factory windscreen i'm not talking about the windscreen that's on here right now but until today, I'd only been testing them out with the factory windscreen. And, you know, your factory mirrors are on stalks. And then, you know, obviously they sit out about right here. I'll tell you what, I noticed it almost immediately, not at real low speeds, but once you got up to maybe 40, 50 miles an hour, the air was calmer behind the windshield. And I guess the reason for that is, is these mirrors are sitting out wide. So they're not really messing with the air like the ones were that were sitting more in the cockpit area. So if you've had any sort of buffeting issues, this could be a solution to solve those issues. I'm not saying it will be. Um, you know, everybody talks about the different windshields and all this different stuff. It ultimately comes down to all sorts of variables that you're just gonna have to test out yourself. Different types of, you know, areas you ride in, different helmet you're wearing, uh, how tall are you behind your windscreen, you know, all these different things. But if you've tried all different sorts of windshields, hey there, bunny rabbit, and you're still getting some buffeting, maybe check into a mirror setup like this and pop off the factory mirrors that might be all the difference you need it, it, it might actually make a big difference for you so now next up i want to talk about you know bang for the buck uh are they worth it and you know obviously everybody comes from a different background everybody's got different means so is it worth spending 240 dollars on a set of these mirrors and the answer to that is well, you're just going to have to decide for yourself. Um, are, are they a little on the pricey side? You're damn right they are. But, um, you know, there are some other options. So Rottweiler sells just the mounting kit, and I'll put the price up on the screen, but I want to say it's around $40 just for the mounting kit. After I posted a couple of uh, pictures up on my Instagram story the other day, local guy, a friend of mine, DM'd me, and he said, hey, you know, how do you like the mirrors? You know, I've had them on my bike for a while, but I just bought the Rottweiler mounting kit and then I went and got some Amazon special mirrors and they work just fine. And I was on the uh, computer earlier this morning. I found what I believe are the Amazon special mirrors he got and they're like 26 bucks. So you could be all in for under 70 bucks for a setup that's going to look exactly like mine, but instead of spending 240, you're spending like 70 bucks. Now, are they as good a mirrors? Well, that's something I can't answer. I haven't used them. I think it was Matt that hit me up and told me he got them. I don't know if he's ever compared his mirrors to the CRG mirrors. I have definitely never compared the CRG mirrors to the cheaper mirrors. Honestly, they're so cheap. I'm thinking about ordering a set just to compare them to see if I can really tell if there's any difference. Um, but anyway, there are some other options out there. So again, to 230 bucks or 240 bucks, whatever they are, it's on the pricey side. So if it's something you're interested in and you're willing to spend that kind of money, I recommend them because they work great. They've got so much adjustability to them. They allow you to see even further behind you. You're not going to catch your shoulders on them anymore. You might catch, depending on how you got them set up, just a little bit of elbow, but since they stick out so far, it really doesn't matter. Um, and again, I think they look cool. So anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the uh, Rottweiler Quick Flip CRG Aero Mirror setup on, on my uh, 2016 KTM 1290 Super Adventure Bike. Man, was that a mouthful. But I'm really digging them. Uh, I'm looking forward to keeping them on the bike. I, I, they're working great. I love them. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button because if you like motorcycles, this is the place to be. If you have any additional questions about the setup of the mirrors uh you know any anything i didn't cover in today's video let me know down in the comment section below and as always i'll talk to you again soon